Hey, what is up, art peeps? I hope you guys are doing awesome. I am doing fantastic. I have to show you before we start this video that I am actually in my new classroom. I even got my picture there that we're doing today. Um, but I just got a shout out to my new fantastic classroom, so I'm really, really excited for that. Not only am I in a classroom, but I am in my new classroom. We're gonna get started on this Keith Haring uh, kind of world being held up. I up a really, really powerful piece. Um, I'll talk throughout about kind of the the history of it, um, which I like to dabble into a little bit, um, but it's a pretty simple step-by-step -step, and I've done a step-by-step -step Keith Haring before and it went awesome and I've used it for so many different things. Um, so I'm gonna try to capture a little of that magic on that video on this one. Just before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. That's the easiest way to click on there and get the bell notifications for all my new videos coming out every single week. So on, on social there. media, you can find me at Mr. Shooty's Art. So I'm gonna start out at the bottom, very symmetrical um, and what symmetry means or having something symmetrical means that it's going to be the same um, really on both sides. There might be a few little tweaks but really overall it's going to be pretty similar. So on the bottom here I'm going to start with one line on this side, one line on this side, and then in the middle I'm going to have one more, another one on this side, Maybe if you want to angle those out a little bit, I think that works pretty good. Now I'm going to bring them towards the middle. Move this up a little bit so you can see. Move this one towards here. Not quite to a point yet. Leave a little, maybe a finger gap in between there. Then I'll kind of go up towards a little peak. Now on my last video, I did this so many times with a couple different classes. Some of them said it kind of looks like a church in there, so I, okay. On one of those sides, I'm gonna bring this, the thing with Keith Haring's, a lot of his drawings are very like cartoonish, so you almost fix, picture as giving yourself an outline, uh, um, body structures, even to the hands and the arms, and especially the fists on there. So I'm really looping this around. I'm gonna start with almost like a straight line, like a little straight line, you can give it a little straight line, and then loop it around. That's that, you can give it a line going down. And then this one almost overlaps and goes through that one. So this one's kind of, I guess this one's holding his hand over here. And then another hand's kind of overlapping over here. So we're gonna do a line at the top. And that one will kind of bubble out, go a little straight. And then that one comes down. So I think if you can get this part, I think you should be pretty good. So really one kind of loops this way and one loops the other way since they are opposites. Those are ready, maybe you can see that they're the kind of fists that go. I'm gonna go to the opposite side. It's a little bit of a break here. And then right on the bottom of these, I'm gonna go one line there, one line there. So really we have the whole arm. Kind of looks like a sock puppet. <laughs> then I'm gonna go back over to this side I'm gonna do one arm over here, one arm going out, almost like an L shape. So this one goes out and this one goes up, this one goes out, this one goes up. These two guys are gonna be holding up a giant world on top of here, so they gotta be nice and big and strong, have their muscles on there. From that, do a little bit of a curve on this side with a flat top. You can do that same thing over here. Do a curve with a flat top. Kind of looks like an upside down boot. And then that line will come down. This one also can come down. Maybe you can start to see it a little bit. It's getting a little bit closer now. We're gonna finish off that arm. Same thing we did over here, we're gonna do over here. Finish off that. This one is gonna finish off that one. Okay, so now I got a little probably more space than I want in between here. So I'm actually just gonna connect these a little bit closer and a little bit closer. Bring this a little bit closer because basically now all we have is the head on there and the head is just an arch line. It goes from one side to the other. Big arch line that goes from one side to the other. And just like that, now it looks like they're gonna be holding up something. I like that, it turned out really, really cool. Because it, it is kind of holding up a world. Like I said, we're gonna do a world on top of here. So you definitely need a big circle. But uh, as I'm doing that, um, it's so important to kind of hold up each other. And that's why I feel like the message of this is, Keith Haring always had really strong messages in his work. 
I guess as I'm trying to focus and do a pretty good circle on here, I shouldn't be talking, I should be focusing. Um, but as I'm doing my world up top here, it's almost like everybody kind of together or you with someone else is trying to hold up the world and try to just bring the good out of other people. And if you can bring up, up someone else and they can bring up someone else, I think that's an overall message that Keith Haring had um, was positivity and growing and really together. We can do anything that we want. And I think that's an important message today. There's a lot of crazy kind of stuff going on in the world and if we work together, I think we can do a lot more than if we're separate, um, where if you feel part of a group or part of a team, I think it's a lot easier to do that. So as we're going on here, speaking of teamwork, um, I'm gonna have you guys, just like me, draw a bunch of lines, because that's really one of his standout traits to all of his pictures, is that they have animation. Really, right now, it doesn't look like these things are doing anything. But as soon as you add some of those action lines, like he puts some over here, to give it kind of the motion of holding up something. He'll put some on the inside here. So one, two, three on each side of here. Maybe one, two on this side. We'll put a couple more down here. One, two on each side of there. Same thing over here. Got some of those actions lines on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and real quick put a bunch all the way around. I always start with kind of like a big one and then a small one, a big one, and then a small one, almost like you would do a sun. Um, Keith Haring did that uh, maybe as a point also to make the world kind of stand out and be bright also. So let's go through that real quick. All right, I'm liking how this is looking so far. Now we just gotta add one thing into the middle that is gonna be our world or some of our continents. Wiggly little line over here. It's gonna be over where Europe is. Africa is right below that. So I'm gonna give that a little squiggle wiggle here. And then it goes down a little bit. Over on this side, we got North America. Squiggle wiggle. I'm gonna give a little bit of Florida right out there. And then that actually goes right down into South America. So I'm gonna go, eh, we'll go a little bit wide and then it comes a little bit thinner up there. If you wanna put a little squiggle over here. Again, these don't have to be perfect. I just know what the countries look like a little bit more. So that makes it look a little bit more realistic too. On the bottom, we can add Antarctica down on that side. Awesome, I love it. Nice, so they are looking really good right now. Now I gotta go over the outlining part. I'm gonna grab a little bit thicker Sharpie because um, I like the way that looked on the, on the last one and this way you can see it a little bit better but definitely if you only have crayons, you could definitely go over it with crayons or pencil a little bit thicker or even one of my jumbo crayons that I do on some of them. Um, so I'm gonna use a Sharpie, so let's go through that real quick and that'll definitely, you'll start to see it pop a little bit more. All right, cool, so I thought that looked really nice, and one thing I tried to keep almost authentic like Keith Haring would do is he goes really quick through his movements in almost to give them kind of that expressive um, sense of it where his lines go really fast um, from one to the other. He actually would do this in the chalk um, or with paint um, really, really quick. So not that you couldn't do this with other materials, but I'm just using the materials that I have. You guys use the materials that you have. The other thing that makes it stand out as Keith Haring is the bright colors. So I'm gonna choose um, really similar to the picture that I, t I am taking it from, but you can really fill this with whatever kind of action and colors that you guys want that really pop out to you. Real quick, I might use some colored pencils, but I also might use some of my um, kind of neon oil pastels. So let's see how that looks. Let's go through that quick.
All right, so this is looking super duper cool. I love the colors, how it pops out, whatever colors that you have put on it. I'm sure you've done a good job on that. The last thing that I wanna do that I kind of forgot is outlining, um, and that's a, another trademark of Keith Haring. He's got a lot of trademarks um, with his, and this one definitely just frames his and makes it kind of stand out as his own. So I'm gonna do kind of a frame over here, almost like a C or a backwards C on each side. So this one's gonna go this way, this one's gonna go here, but they're not gonna connect in the middle. So I'm gonna go one, two, and then three. And then this one over here is gonna have one, two, and three. Right there and just by adding that it really frames it in and makes it look like a little bit more finished of a piece but i am not finished because i'm gonna fill in this um with some of my i think i'm gonna do my neon orange there i think that'll look good all together and an interesting piece of this is so used for a Christmas CD album cover of just some random Christmas music. Um, but this was like a world Christmas. Some of that kind of American culture and pop influence with the pop art um, that really pops out in the bright colors um, over to the other countries in other worlds and other music that was on this CD um, really helped lift everything up at that moment in time. And I think I could do the same thing for here. So let me try some of that orange. Just taking a quick little break here to show you some of my techniques that you'll see in a lot of my different videos where I start coloring maybe about, what is this, about 75%. So not the whole picture. Um, I get about 75% of it just by kind of scribbling and going through it quick. And then I'll start going into these little details to fill them in and the details that's a good way that I even do with markers too um, so they don't look so scribbly but I always recommend also that it, for bigger areas crayons color pencils oil pastels or paint um, would fill in bigger areas better if you do with markers it gets really scribbly for the background so I definitely don't recommend coloring a background like this with markers so let's finish that up There it is, bam, I think that turns out awesome. Really like how the colors turned out and pop. And you can see by even the teeniest tiny of color that I actually use for this. I never like to waste any of my tools or supplies in my classroom. So even these little pieces of oil pastels I don't throw away, I can use and turn out something awesome like this. So definitely if you like this, give it a thumbs up, hit that like button down below, and always, always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art class, and we will talk to you guys later.